Hello, boys and girls. My name is Kiana, and let's pray. Oh, Lord, thank you for this day and for all the children this morning. And please bless them and the children pray. Amen. Let us join the praise and worship team. I surrender all to Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for protecting us. Oh Lord, may you keep us safe. May you please speak to us. And I pray that you may protect our teachers and our parents. In Jesus' name, I pray this believing and trusting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the prayers. And thank you, worship, worship team for leading us in prison and worshiping God. Boys and girls at home, let's appreciate them. Thank you very much. My name is Teacher Wilson Miner, and I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Boys and girls, we've already sung and praised God, and now it is time for us to have our Bible lesson. Get your Bible ready, add your notebook, and a pen. And as you settle down, may we remind ourselves of what we learned last week? What was the Bible story? Mm -hmm. And what was the memory verse? Tell someone near you. Great. Did you do the craft work? Did you send it to us through your pastor? or Sunday school teachers? Let's have a look at what we received from you. Awesome, thumbs up for you. Thank you so much. We've been doing a series on God calls us. God is calling us to do different things. And today, before I tell you the lesson for the day, I want to give you a short story. Tim celebrated his ninth birthday and his parents gave him gifts. Among the gifts that he got 
were beautiful pens, highlighters. And the following day, he went with them to school. And everybody wanted to see his gifts. At lunch break, Alex went back to class and stole one of the pens. Just before they went home that day, you know what that one means? Just before they went home that evening, Tim realized that one of his pen was missing. And he informed the teacher. And the teacher conducted a search on all boys and girls in the class. And the pen was found in the bag of Alex. The teacher was very disappointed because he, uh, he trusted Alex very much. However, the teacher said that she would punish Alex. Tim pleaded with the teacher to forgive Alex. And the teacher forgave Alex, but on condition that you not repeat that again. Our lesson today is God is calling us to forgive others. Our scripture reading comes from the book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse 21 to 35. And we are going to have Shama reading for us. Our reading comes from Matthew chapter 18, 21 to 35. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the, as he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, cancel the debt, and let him go. But when the servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred dinars. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell on his knees and begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown in prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed and went and told their master everything that had happened. The master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I cancelled that, all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back what he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. Thank you. Thank you, Shama, for reading for us. We have read that Peter 
wanted Jesus to confirm whether a person should be forgiven seven times only. But Jesus Christ told him 77 times. Well, boys and girls, that's an equivalent of 490 times. Do you know what this one means? It means to keep on and keep on forgiving those who wrong us. Now, boys and girls, Jesus told the disciples this parable that we've read of the unforgiving servant. The servant owed the king, the master, so much money. And the king wanted to settle the debts and his accounts. So he called this servant. This servant could not pay. And he begged the king to forgive him. The king wanted to sell him as a slave and his wife and the children. But he begged the king, he begged the master, please bear with me, be patient with me. I am going to pay everything. The king felt mercy and sorry for him. So he forgave him. And this servant went out happy because he had been forgiven. But once he was out, he found another, another person who owed him some money, some little money. He grabbed him, almost choking him. He beat him. This second servant, this second person begged, please forgive me, be patient with me. I will pay every debt. But this man could not listen. He refused to forgive. And he had this second person thrown into the prison. Wow, very, very sad. Other people heard about it. And they went and told the king. The king was so upset. It was like, you could not forgive your fellow servant the way I forgave you. And because of what you have done, because you cannot forgive, then I'll put you in jail until you pay everything. And Jesus concluded by saying that that's how our Father in heaven will treat everyone unless they forgive each other. Forgiving is a choice. Forgiving means giving out, being willingly, accepting the person that has wronged you. Start. Forgiveness is willingly stopping to feel angry or annoyed or upset either by yourself or by other people who have done you harm. Forgiveness also means God's promise not to count any sin against us. Forgiveness is forgetting the wrong done to us. Now, boys and girls, we must forgive others their sins so that God will also forgive us. There are three greatest examples of forgiveness in the Bible. Number one, we have Joseph. Remember Joseph? Even last Sunday, we learned about Joseph. He forgave his brothers, though they sold him to Egypt as a slave. What about Jesus Christ? When he was on the cross, he forgave those who are crucifying him. And lastly, even Stephen, when he was being stoned to death, he forgave those who are stoning him. We must live a forgiving life. We must continue forgiving people every day. When people forgive others, they become free. When you forgive those people who are not kind to you, that is, you get healing in you. Forgiving others allow us also to overcome feelings of anger, bitterness, or even revenge. And once again, it brings healing. 
Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 says, If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will forgive, will also forgive you. But if you don't forgive men their sins, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you. Why do we forgive them? Mm -hmm. We forgive because God, Jesus, forgave us first. Forgiveness is very important in our lives. We have promise of eternal life. We have promise of living with God forever and ever. God also commands us. God is calling us also to forgive one another. That's why we forgive. Remember when Jesus Christ died on the cross? He did not just die for you, but even he died for those who wrong us. And therefore, we must forgive. And when we forgive boys and girls, those people who are bad to us, who at times speak badly, they bully us, don't we also sometimes annoy other people? Don't we also do wrong things to other people? Now, one way of showing forgiveness is smiling. You smile back. You can also write a short message to the other person asking for forgiveness. You can also help out. You can also give a hug. You can also give a gift. Choose to forgive always. Let go bitterness and anger. It's not good to hold grudges or push back people. Always say sorry when you commit a wrong. Forgiving other people is not just for, other, for the others, but also us. Some people may not be willing to forgive, and we need to pray for such people so that God can change their hearts. People who forgive are happier. I want you boys and girls to be happier and healthy. But when disagreements come because this is life, remember this, real friends forgive and apologize to one another. If you are truly sorry for something you have said or done, admit it. And especially to those that you have harmed. Ask for forgiveness without excuses. Remember we want to go to heaven? Heaven is for people who have been forgiven and those people who, have, who also forgive. We radiate God's glory when we forgive those who wrong us. We also need to accept when other people come to tell us that we should forgive them. I want to pray for you, boys and girls. Are you there? And you'd like Jesus Christ to forgive you? I want to pray for you so that you can also learn to forgive others. Let's close our eyes. Repeat this prayer after me. Our Lord Jesus Christ, I come before you. I confess my sins so that you may hear me. I pray that you forgive me where I have wronged you and wronged other people. Make me your child from today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want also to pray for all other boys and girls so that God can help them every day to be forgiving other people when they are wronged. And also to be admitting when they make mistakes and they wrong others. Shall we pray? Our God and our Father, we want to thank you for sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross and to show us forgiveness. We pray that Jehovah God, as we live this, in this world, oh dear Father, you help us to live a life that is acceptable before you. Help us to forgive those who have wronged us and help us, oh Jehovah God, to accept the forgiveness from others. Strengthen us every day. For you've prayed this believing and trusting in Jesus' holy name. 
Amen. Amen. And our memory verse today, it comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 14. And what does it say? It says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. Let's say it one more time. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Thank you. Keep on memorizing the word of God, boys and girls. Remember Jesus Christ overcame the devil because he had memorized the scriptures. Let's keep on doing it. And lastly, we want to have our craft so that whatever we've learned today, we'll keep on practicing. Thank you. Our craft time now. You need sheets of papers like this. You also need a pair of scissors, glue, a pen, and even colors. What, I, what, do you want, what do I want you to do? I want you to draw a round figure. Use something round like this. Draw round figure like that. Use uh, your pair of scissors to cut it all round. It will be like this. Then on it, draw a smiling face like this. Then draw, uh, get the next uh, sheet of paper. Draw a love heart. Like that. Cut it all round with your pair of scissors. After that, I want you to have strips of papers. Cut them nicely. Now, boys and girls, we want to stick all this together. We want to start with the head. Eventually, I want us to stick something like this that we have our, a head, a love heart, hands. On one sheet of paper, you can trace your hands, put the legs, and even the shoes inside the heart, right? Forgive others. Our, our today's lesson, forgive others. Then hang it in your room, and every day be reminding yourself with your stretched hands to forgive others. Thank you very much. Make sure that you said it to us so that we can see them next week. For now, it is bye-bye. God bless. See you next time.